What is up everyone, this is Mogami here and today I am going to show you how to get unbanned from the PlayStation Network in 2024 for your PlayStation 4 or your PlayStation 5 or even PlayStation 3 account, PSN account I should say, that may have gotten banned. So let's get right into this. What you need to do is click into the link that I left in the description and get on this webpage. Once you're in here, you're going to click into Account and Security and Suspensions. Once you're in here, you're going to see three types of items over here. And you could have been suspended for many reasons. I'm giving a general video and I do do specific videos as well on how to get rid of or get out of specific suspensions, right? So the thing you see over here first is suspension status form. There is a request status for suspensions due to a code of conduct breach. You can check your status and see what this was for, if it's temporary, and when you'll get your account back. This is probably the easiest one. Do this, see if it's for a few days or a week or two. Great, leave it alone and go back. The other one is chargeback. Sometimes, or a lot of times, uh, you may do a chargeback on your PlayStation uh, account or your on your bank account, sorry, for a PlayStation charge because you probably got hacked or something. Sony urges you or PlayStation urges you to not do a chargeback and contact Sony directly and let them know fraudulent charges occurred and they'll actually give you your money back. Um, I know in that moment you're really technically panicked. You don't want to do that. You just want to tell your bank, like, I got hacked get my money back and they'll get it back for you. So you can then do this appeal form and go from there. The final one, which is what this general audience is for, is the suspension appeal form, which is submit your request to appeal your suspension. This is the one that most of you are going to want to do. You're going to put in your online ID and your sign in email address over here. Once you put this information in over here, there's going to be a few more pieces of information that it's going to ask you inside of it. It's going to ask you, why did you think you got banned? Why do you think we should remove your suspension, et cetera, et cetera. It's going to ask you like a little bit more in-depth detail about certain informations in there that you're going to want to like kind of provide them and let them know. Because it says over here, currently appeal submissions are supported for the land. Well, what it don't worry about that. Uh, we accept appeals for suspension due to a code of conduct breach. Prior to submitting an appeal, please review the terms and services, and you have to be over 18 years of age, or 18 and over, to be able to submit this thing. That's basically what you're going to do. You're going to go in then, you're going to let them know certain information that you did not do what you think you did, whatever place, because it's funny, they don't even tell you when you, how you got suspended, they just tell you you're suspended. But you're going to have to basically argue saying, I did not do anything, I did not hack, because they actually suspended me for some reason, once that they stated I was hacking. Never even hacked in my life. So, or in PlayStation consoles, which is odd, very odd. Especially the console they stated I was hacking on was just a YouTube console. Like, it was, there's no games on it. <laughs> it's just videos being made on it. So, yeah, the Sony does, is odd on those situations, and it can happen. And this is what you pretty much need to do to be able to get some, your, again, your account back. You essentially go in, put in your online ID, put in your email username which is your sign email id and then go from there now if you try to talk to a live agent or call them this is not going to help this is one of the only ways for you to essentially appeal your ban this is it this is your only way to appeal the suspension putting in your information here then going about it letting them know what type of suspension you had if you got it and then letting them know why you don't deserve to be suspended because you didn't really do anything wrong so that's basically it again always check your status first it'll tell you in general what it is and then kind of you leverage that to over here to the type of suspension you got and ask them essentially forgiveness in a way even if you didn't do it just say you're sorry or whatever you didn't do it you won't do it again or whatever you may have done please look this over reconsider this and they most likely will so you're gonna kind of have to kind of go down that right and go from there so yeah that's basically it if you guys still have any comments questions or concerns, let me know in the comment section below more than help you guys out if you guys are like this video please smash that like button on the side if you guys are new to the channel make sure to subscribe click that notification bell and that one coming out peace